Have you ever wondered how Elon Musk managed to build three revolutionary multi-billion dollar companies in different fields? Well, he used first principles. Just like him, Aristoteles, Thomas Edison or Nikola Tesla all used this strategy for solving difficult problems and creating outstanding innovation. First principles thinking is one of the most effective ways to solve problems. Today I show you how you can use this technique to unlock your creative potential. First of all, what exactly is first principles thinking? Basically, first principles are basic assumptions that can't be deducted any further. Aristoteles defined them as the first basis from which a thing is known. You have to actively question every assumption you think you know about the problem. Once you are at the very beginning of a problem, you can start to create new knowledge and solutions from scratch. Rather than following the majority of people, you create your own assumptions to achieve true innovation. Building knowledge and solving problems based on prior assumptions can lead to bad decisions, even if the people behind the decisions are actually smart. Just doing what everybody does isn't a good way to solve problems. First principles will help you to develop a unique worldview. Reasoning by first principles is one of the best mental techniques you can use to improve your thinking. I think the following example will give you a good idea of what first principle thinking is all about. Imagine you have a motorboat with skiers behind it, a military tank and a bicycle. What most people would think if they see those things is exactly what they are. So they would see a motorboat, a tank or a bicycle. But first principle thinkers would see a motor, metal treats, skis, a seat, handlebars and many more. Then they would think about what you can create out of these different parts. Do you know it? You can create a snowmobile out of it. We broke the situation down into its core pieces to create a new innovative product. This technique of thinking maybe sounds like only really smart people could use it. That's not true. Everybody can use first principles to achieve a smarter way of thinking. Let's break down the process of breaking down to make first principles thinking available for everyone. Step 1. Identify your current problem. Just think about what is holding you back right now or which problem you will face in the future. You can take whatever problem you have but I recommend you to start practicing first principles thinking with a small problem. In this example a business owner wants to grow his company. The problem he is facing is that it costs a lot of money to make this happen. Write down your problems to work with them. Like Albert Einstein said, if I had one hour to solve a problem, I'd spend 55 minutes thinking about the problem and 5 minutes thinking about solutions. This quote shows how important it is to know your true problems. If you don't know your problems, how will you even start solving them? Step 2. Break down the problem. Elon Musk explains breaking down a problem with a tree. You first have to understand the fundamental principles of your problem. These principles represent the trunk and the branches. After understanding them, you can go into the details, which represent the leaves. If you don't have the trunk and its branches, the leaves have nothing to hang on to. So if you didn't understand why you can solve a problem, you can't go into detail to solve it. Elon Musk used this method with battery packs. Originally battery packs costed $600 per kilowatt hour. By breaking down the problem of a way too expensive battery pack, he found that it's made out of cobalt, nickel, aluminium, carbon, some polymers for separation and a seal can. Then he looked up the prices of these things and found that they go for $80 per kilowatt hour. He still has to put them together in a smart way. But by using this method, he discovered the potential of a way cheaper battery pack. Musk asked powerful questions and got powerful answers by breaking down the problem. Step 3. Create new solutions. Now you broke your problem down into its main pieces. From here you can start to rebuild the whole process without socially accepted beliefs. Let's bring back the businessman who wants to grow his company. The problem he has is that it costs a lot of money. He starts to break down his problem with first principles thinking. After some time he realized, in order to get more money, he needs to sell more products to more customers. So how can he reach more customers without spending too much money? He needs a business partner in his niche. 
By cooperating with a partner, both of them can expand their business. It's basically a win-win deal because they both make more money by serving a larger number of customers and to keep it all fair, they split their profits 50-50. By identifying his current problem, he broke it down into what he needs to solve it and from there, he built a solution for the problem. First principles thinking doesn't remove the need for improvement, but it changes the way we improve things. It's very useful if you do something new for the first time if you have to deal with a really complex problem or if you try to understand your current situation. First principles thinking helps you to think on your own because you stop others to frame the problem for you. Never underestimate yourself and what you can achieve. Elon Musk said, I think most people can learn a lot more than they think they can. They sell themselves short without trying. Believe in yourself and use first principles to solve problems. You can achieve whatever you want to achieve. Take care of yourself, we'll see us again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope this video helps you to achieve a smarter living.